Hi guys, Karibuni Konye Show. I'm your host, Chef Tuko Konye. C panel discussion, ni practical mom lesson. And with us, Konye Show is a very familiar face. She's called Susan Watoto Touch. Atakuwa natuambia kunyonyesha. Sijui, sijui ku explain. Hapa kuna vitu mingi. But sana sana, we'll be talking about breastfeeding in general. What to take, kukikuwa na bowl, mto ya kikam, kuna cookies. I mean, Iliona, I will let me show you this. This was very interesting. Organic vegan nursing coffee. If you're a coffee addict, there is a solution. Yako. So, mm. welcome, Susan. Thank you. And of course, with me on the show, I have Juliet, my super co host. How are you, Juliet? How are you, Mama? The coffee is very good. Tuna tuko kwenye breastfeeding. I'm mm -hmm. so eager to learn because <laughs> babu me nilipata challenges because unajua most of the times uh -huh. ujui you know, unajua unashika mtoto ujui whether you are doing it the correct way oh, no. unashtuka kama maziwa iko enough mm -hmm. unashtuka kama mtoto analala enough kama hata so, anashiba so exactly thank you, thank you. <laughs> so yes guys it's an amazing show it's an amazing segment tuende kwenye KTN BTV and if you want to stream live it's www.btvkenya.ke www.btvkenya.ke if una stream live niko sure kuna one or two people wana to watch kutoka maju si ndio yes so that's hiyo unaweza stream hivyo and so yes susan karibu kwenye show asante you introduced afadhali tumwe ku introduce sure. lakini je introduce tena asante mimi naitwa susan moreithi um mimi ni mama, nimeorewa na Mr. Moridhi. Nina watoto watatu. Mm -hmm. Niko na Abigail, niko na Jeremy na Harrison. Wow. Wote walinyonya. Lakini mm -hmm. Abigail nilipata shida kama wewe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Abigail ni mkubwa. Ndiye mkubwa kwa 12 years. Mm -hmm. Nilipompata, nilipata shida kidogo ya matiti kuuma. Okay. okay. The nipple. Yeah, na sikujua kuna huanga na shida just like you. Mm -hmm. Sikujua kuna shida. Mm -hmm. Makyu saa hizo nilikuwa nurse wa Nairobi Hospital uh -huh. so nikienda kuambia kila mtu niko na shida nasikia uchungu wote wananiambia wewe ndio unafaa kutoa daktari <laughs> <laughs> sasa daktari ni mgonjwa uh -huh. na um, hata mimi sikujua kuna shida mpaka nikaelezewa problem mwenye nitaenda kuona uh -huh. expert wa breastfeeding uh -huh. na nikaelewa ni shida nilikuwa nayo na other than my family um, mimi ni nurse registered nurse na niko nimesomea mambo ya breastfeeding mm. so mimi ni kwa title naitwa lactation expert ama specialist na pia nimesomea uh, kumasaji watoto wadogo tutakuja hapa tena tuonyeshe wow. hii tutafanya wa practical na mtoto wangu nitaleta naye <laughs> nionyeshe wa mama na wa baba unamasaji mtoto aje dio alale vizuri mm. atulie mm. atoke gas atoke colic mm. Na hile kutoa hile fatigue. Yeah. A relax. Mm. And a use of music. <laughs> Kuna whole uh, lesson there. Charity, ya massage. I hope we know it is. I hope we know it. That's the next topic. Charity. Massage. Eh, massage. Eh, massage. Eh, yeah, that sound interesting. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh -huh. So, mimi niko na kampuni. Uh, inaitua Toto Touch. Watu wengine huandika total hile ya petrol station. Sio hiyo. <laughs> Toto ya mtoto. T-O-T-O, -T -O, T -O, then touch ya kuguza. Ni kama unaguza mtoto. And that's what I do. Mimi na uzanga watoto na wamama na make sure. Ni kikuja kukuona, sita kuacha vile ulikuwa. Kama ulikuwa na shida na kutatulia. Most inafanya home visits. Home visits ni kusema naenda kwa ko, kwa nyumba. Nafanya hivo kwa nini. Sababu, ukiambia mama na hii weather. Unawana venye kuko reo? Yeah mwambia kuje right. gong road sijui wapi atashindwa kuja yeah. first of all maybe ni mama fanywa cesarean yeah. number 2 labda wajarara number 3 huyo mama bado hajastulia na yeye atanataka ku sortiwa mambo ya kunyonyesha True. or to be shown yeah. the initial breastfeeding tips True. na pia mtoto akiwa mchanga sana na hajapata immunization mm. tena hiyo ku travel mara mingi kuna Super. traffic oh. ama you know how Kenya can be Unatokea traffic kwa mrango, mm. two hours on the road, huu ni mama nafaa, huwa nyumbani ya kitulia, mm. kipona. Yeah. So hatutaki tena akue kwa safari saa yote. Okay. Dio mimi naona, mimi ndiye rahisi, mm. ni mpate penye yako. So naendanga, wow. utanipata Karen, unipate umoja, unipate mm. anywhere. Wow. Ata fika nimeenda, nyeri nimeenda, wow. wow. nyahururu nimeenda kwetu, huko ndiyo kwetu. And unajua Juliet, funny thing, I figured, watu, we never appreciate such kind of moms. As in, true. True. Mtu kama Susan, mtu ameamua kukuja kuwako penye uko. Yes. You don't, 
ile time unahitaji that support yes. So, yes, that, we, yes we don't take you for granted and anyone who needs her don't even don't even take her for granted umesikia she is a nurse yes. amacha kazi yake hosi anafanya kazi nyingine okay tunasio mingi nasa anafaa tu kwa hosi <laughs> but sasa anakuja kwa nyumba yako which is something really nice and keep doing the good thank job endelea kutusaidia sisi kama kina mama na kama mama kuna group labda kuna mama mwingine rafiki yeah. yake we can combine mm. na nikuje penye wako yeah. i make it easier for them, for them. Eh, inakuwa mm. haso kushinda uki watafuta wa ni ukweli ni ukweli na my nursing inanisaidianga sana hadi ya kujua hata nikiingia nione mama mm. kama hata ni mgonjwa nitamwambia mama hivi na hivi mm. na hivi na out of that nime nashukuru Mungu sana nimepata marafiki wengi sana mm. kwa kazi yangu niko na wamama hata mm. sikuwajua mm. that this way by Susan yeah. wakisikia toto tat Susan wanakimbia wanasema wow. can i see that Susan mm. and i thank god i don't take it for granted, for granted yes mm. karibu kwenye show asante leo tunafanya nini leo tunafanya mambo breastfeeding uh-huh. nataka kuanza na kusema sisi wote tunaelewa breastfeeding ni muhimu uh-huh. na tunasema mtoto asipewe kitu kingine for the first six months okay. na utafiti umefanywa tukatulia tukajua hata maji hiyo uh-huh. maziwa ya mama iko na maji ya kutosha uh-huh. mtoto hahitaji maji tukasema inaongeza um, health ya mtoto inakuwa mzuri uh-huh. mama anarudi shape ukinyonyesha um, tumbo inarudingi to the usual Yo, size or original likuwa, yeah. size. Ah. Na ndio wa mama wengi wakinyonyesha wanasikianga uchungu kwa tumbo mm. juna inarudi. Um, pia kwa mtoto, mtoto mwenye amenyonya vizuri, mm. anakuwa vizuri, anakuwa mwerevu, pia IQ level mm. inakuwa juu na pia anakuwa a healthy child yeah. ata kwa shule. Hapa tu ina maugojwa ugojwa ya ye infection, sore throat. Mm. Uh, atapata yes, yeah. si semi ati yako immune kabisa. Atapata mm. lakini ana anaweza ku, kusaidika ama kupona haraka. Yeah. Na pia watoto wamenyonya sisi wote tunajua unaweza jua mtoto amenyonya vizuri. Mm. Watu wengi huona kama formula ndio inaongeza uzito wa mtoto. Na hiyo imeleta changamoto kwa wamama wengi. Wanaona bado nitanyonyesha but yeah, wacha nipeane formula kidogo but hivyo <laughs> ni wanajua breast milk on its own ni, inatosha kwa miezi sita na pia tunasema mtoto anyonye miaka mbili but kutoka miezi sita tunasema tunaleta chakula ingine solids introduction of solids inaitangwa complementary feeding okay. na watu wengi wanaita winning winning is stopping breastfeeding completely oh. so hii ya six months haitu winning inaitwa complementary feeding <laughs> sababu unanyonyesha <laughs> yes na unaleta chakula ingine solids matunda eh. maji sasa unaongezea vitu zingine mm. kwa chakula yake Nataka kueleza ile shida inakuanga. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Unajua watu wengi wanajua breastfeeding is important. Okay. Na every mother hata wale wajawazito yeah. sahi waulize utapata 99% or even 0.5 saying I want to exclusive breastfeed my baby. Mm, yeah. But angalia uone kuna shida utokea na wote wana sio wote humalizia with mm. exclusive mm. breastfeeding. Kuna changamoto zinakuja yeah. pale. Hizo yeah. ndio nataka kuguzia. Mm-hmm. Kuna kitu niko na matiti yangu hapa na bebanga mm-hmm. ya kuonyesha wa mama. Kuna hii ya uh, hiyo size nataka kuonyesha na hii. Mm-hmm. So hii ni breast muscle. Mm-hmm. Hii ni areola, mm-hmm. the dark part um, of, the of the breast. It's darker than the breast muscle na kuna hii tip hii ndio nipo. Okay. Watu wengi wakishanyonyesha, wanyonyesha hapa tip inauma ama inakuwa cracked nipo hiyo ndio unasikianga wa mama akisema oh, kama hiyo nilikwambia nilikuwa nayo initially so it is so painful that you will never forget <laughs> very 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 painful unanyesha <laughs> <laughs> kama umefunga macho oh. hivi machozi inatiririka i mean nililia eh you cry i also cry i, I cry mimi si wadanganyi mama nililia hata mimi <laughs> and then there is a tendency ya yeah, you tend now to kunyonyesha ile yenye hayuni yes which is also na hii sasa unajua what happens inafura <laughs> inafura maziwa inaja lazima tu wanyonye sasa so you have problem this side and this side so mm. kuna hiyo crack nipo kuna sone inaanzanga na sone sone mm. ni kama kusikia ka uchungu eh. kidogo inaenda cracked crack sasa ni kuna kidoda ime crack eh. na kuna zingine pia nimekuwa kwa nyumba na wale wananitazama mm-hmm. breeding nipples imetoka ngozi inatoka damu ai yes chungu namna gani mm. na sana sana hapa hakuna shida ile shida itatokea hapa mm. ni engagement mastitis mm. na nitaongelelea but ile itatokea hapa 
ni uchungu ya craft nipo sana sana hapa mm. na pia unasikia uchungu mm. na hujui inatoka wapi ile kitu kingine nataka kuambia mama kama mtoto amezaliwa matiti inaanza ku produce milk yeah. kuna wamama who produce just before birth uh-huh. kuna wale wana produce immediately after, after birth, birth. Mm. na kuna wale bado maziwa haijaseto mm. hana maziwa utasikia wamama wakisema yeah. nimepata mtoto wote wengine wako hospitali na hapo ndio nakujia mm. na waonyesha how to initiate oh, the meal. But let me mention this because it's very important na wamama wengi wawajui the more you put the baby on the breast um toto wako newborn kwa matiti the sooner you do it hapo dio breast milk inaanzaga kutoka cuz um mm. toto is the only um dia taweza ku stimulate oh, mama uh-huh. to start producing milk, milk. so oh. the more that baby delays to say mm. mtoto amerazwa labda alikuwa uh, hajafikisha umri mm-hmm. uh, ni premature baby mm-hmm. labda amekwa kwa nasari ama kwa niku mm-hmm. hiyo sasa ni changamoto wamama wengi hawapati maziwa haraka mm-hmm. wengine hawapati maziwa haraka ni cesarean moms yeah. um, wengine wanapata delay in production wale wamama pia hupata anxiety so unajua pregnancy on its own yeah. na delivery mm-hmm. unaona hiyo bit haujui unapata mtoto aina gani mm-hmm. utampata aje na siku hizi unajua kuna anxiety inakujanga hujui mm-hmm kutaendaje i also got anxious with all my three babies yeah, everybody does na shindwa <laughs> with all the pregnancies <laughs> mimi nitatoboa you know you start pre- hata unaomba mm. na kumbuka nikiomba kupata mtoto <laughs> eh hey, niliingizwa nilienda nili kupata mtoto nilianza na maombi eh hey, niliomba mimi niko naona sitoboy sitoki hiyo hospitali <laughs> sababu i got a hint yule mama alikuwa mbele yangu aliaga mm. how unfortunate mm. for me to know na mimi ndiye next mm. mimi niliona ni kifo 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 mm. cs sasa cs so motherhood anxiety inakausha maziwa pia okay. the other problem inapatanga wa mama ni maziwa sasa ikitokelezea mtoto tuseme amenyonya vizuri maziwa sasa imeseto ina ja unasikia uko hard mm-hmm. sasa ukiguza hiyo matiti inaanza iko tu kama hii but si soft si hey. soft kama mtoto mtu hana mtoto hey. mm. but inafika pahari unapata kitu inaitwa engagement okay. engagement wale hawajui ni maziwa inakuwa mingi na haitoki ama mtoto hanyonyi ya kutosha mm-hmm. itoke mm-hmm. ndio ikupatie relief okay. sasa hiyo engagement kuna mama wanapata very hard breast muscle yeah. na pia inakuwa challenge juu kishaja mpaka huku mm. inakuwa shida hata kunyonyesha juu hii tip mm. inapoteanga inapotea juu ya kuswell ni kama ugonjwa yeah. sasa imeingia okay. na hiyo ikifika inapeanga mama chills unaanza kusikia kama uko na malaria mm-hmm. wengine wanasikia mood yeah. hauko sawa you are not happy wengine wanasikia uwezi kulala uwezi beba hiyo uzito ya hiyo matiti mm-hmm. nilikuwa na mama hangeweza kubeba uzito wa matiti yake oh. paka ni massage mimi na tutoe maziwa hiyo mm-hmm. fruit ikianza kutoa kutoka sasa anakuwa relief na anaweza kutembea but ikiwa mzito sana mm-hmm. and especially you can't. yeah you can't okay. um, the other challenges kuna wamama upata severe infections inaitwa mastitis the same engagement ikizidi sasa mm-hmm. inakuwa mastitis na hiyo inakuwa infection that you need help from the doctor hiyo ni ya kupeleka hospitali mm-hmm. si ya kutibia nyumbani okay. ile so nipples tunatumianga kitu inaitwa ranolin cream mm-hmm. ndio hii na tuko nayo kwa ofisi ukipata unaweka kidogo una unapaka but una kabla ununue ranolin wamama wengi nawaambia finya maziwa kidogo kwa matiti yako mm-hmm. paka around the nipple and mm-hmm. the areola yeah. let it dry it dry kidogo then uvae uh, your uh, breast um, nursing bra, nas, nursing bra mm-hmm. or nursing pad mm-hmm. then nursing bra na hiyo nursing pad tunasemanga isikuwe tena wet sana juu italeta unajua maziwa oh, iko yeah, na sukari eh, mm. na iko wet sasa hiyo italeta um, stickiness, stickiness yeah. and fungal infection kuna wamama upata pia the next thing i was going to ni kupata um, shida inaitwa nipple thrush okay. unapata unapata infection inaingilia pale kwa ile cracked nipple mm-hmm. inaingia ndani na wamama wengi vile wanasikianga ni wanachomwa si hata uchungu sasa uchungu. ni uchungu inachoma It's like yo, mtoto akianza tu kunyonya hivi unasikia si uchungu kuchomwa mm. unachomeka mm. na sasa tunasemanga ikifika hapo mm. si kitu ya kutibia nyumbani na madawa 
ndio wewe umekunywa dawa umemeza sijui panadol sijui ni vizuri kumeza ukiwa na utaratibu wa daktari mm. sababu gani tunasema hivyo sio dawa zote hukubarika mtoto mm. akinyonyeshwa ama mama akinyonyesha okay. zinakausha maziwa mm -hmm. ni pia ni vizuri ulize daktari hivi nasikia hivi nasikia hivi ninaweza tumia nini okay. wataku guide na hii ukipaka is it safe for the baby yes this is okay. safe for the baby ranolin kuna hii it's called hospital grade uh, ranolin ukipaka mtoto anaweza nyonya okay. na pia inasaidia wa mama wale wame katika rips mm -hmm. juu ya dehydration kama oh. especially during pregnancy mm -hmm. wakienda kumalizia hii ni mzuri for rip care mm -hmm. ukirara unapa, unapaka mm -hmm. nataka kuonyesha um, kitu moja wa mama wengi juu ni mention sana sana wanapatanga mtoto wao akishazaliwa hatumii maziwa mingi mm -hmm. but wanapata <laughs> wanajari sana huu mtoto wangu anatosheka hiyo kwanza ni swali kila mama ananiuliza huu mm. mtoto wangu nitajuaje anapata maziwa unaona hii inaonyeshana umri wa mtoto na kala amount mm -hmm. na kala of the poo mm -hmm. sasa hii ni newborn baby mm -hmm. tuseme akishazaliwa from day 1 day 2 day 3 mm -hmm. anapata maziwa 5 mils to about 20 mils hiyo mm -hmm. 5 mils ni ile kidiko dogo na ako sawa e. so ukipata newborn <laughs> na hapa amepewa 120 mils uh -huh. too much overfeed. overfeeding <laughs> that's another problem hapa tunaenda one week it may increase needs about 40 to 60 mils uh -huh. the color of the poo here meconia is black uh -huh. here the next poo is greenish uh -huh. so mama unipigia wanasema ai pupu sasa ni ya green sijui ni you know <laughs> Hapa inaendelea 60 mils to about 90 mils in 2 weeks, 3 weeks. Inakuwa sasa ndio hii size na inakuwa sasa mustard yellow. Mm, okay. Ni vizuri wajue hiyo. Na msisahau pa, pa feeding. Pa feeding. Pa feeding. Ah, okay. Pa feeding. Okay, okay, okay. So a newborn baby needs about 6 to 8 about 8 to 12 uh, feeds mm. per day. day. Yes. So and this is in 2 hours. So utapata mwenye amekunywa 5 mils ama 10 mils antarara tu hours of course wakiwa very newborn they sleep more yes, mm. atapata amekunywa hiyo 5 to 10 mils mm -hmm. or 20 the challenge is and it's also on me and you mm -hmm. when you put your baby on breast like mm -hmm. this how much do you think they take nobody knows only god has an answer but <laughs> in estimating expertise mm -hmm. in those experts of breastfeeding <laughs> the baby takes what their stomach can hold mm. and it is important remember the breast milk kuna two types ndio tusisahau kuna four milk na kuna head milk four milk mm -hmm. ni ile inakaa maji maji ni kama hata sio maziwa mm -hmm. ni kama ni maziwa but ime ni kama maji kabisa eh. but ukite have you ever tasted a breast milk from your own mm -hmm. <laughs> sasa nawapatia changamoto muende <laughs> mtest ni nini mnapeanga watoto wenyu hii kitu inaogopwa my baby daddy inaogopwa kwanza na watu wengi sana it is very sweet mm -hmm. it has a lot of glucose it's actually glucose water in a breast mm -hmm. you know, it's meant to quench <laughs> to quench the thirst akia <laughs> to quench the baby <laughs> thirst eh abjai of course inaogopwa na mimi si rahisi hivyo si rahisi but wa mama wengi wame test hata wanajua test mm -hmm. wanajua ni sukari iko tamu wengine wanaogopa wengi ndio wanaogopa even dads they fear that thing like ha ah, hiyo kitu ikiwaspiria you know those people who have good let down yeah. unaenda kutoa mati yeah. tv ime spray kila mtu <laughs> it is time to be the keep choke of this home you run but i want them to, en to encourage them it's healthy mm, in uganda do you see what they are doing men are sindio wananyonya sasa it was a disaster at some point the husbands are taking the milk mm. over from their, oh, their breastfeeding <laughs> 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 they are getting energy <laughs> back to our story that breast milk the second one is called the heat milk mm -hmm. heat milk sasa ndio kuna all the proteins all the carbohydrates mm -hmm. all the vitamins all the immunity mm -hmm. so what do we say when the baby starts breastfeeding The initial milk they get is called four milk mm -hmm. it's to give them energy to feed and also uh, to quench their thirst. Mm -hmm. Number two, as they continue, mm -hmm. they get the heat milk. Now there's a challenge here and this is why I've brought all this topic. 
when you put your baby on one breast and quickly this other one start giving you problem mm. which is a good problem mm. you start feeding like you want to breastfeed this other side because yes, the milk yes. let down mm. is worse on this side so ukiye kama mtoto hapa unasikia hii dio wasi unamtoa unamleta kwa hii you know what you've done you've done four milk you've come here to do another four milk what will happen with that baby she will have a stomach discomfort or have a green poop so tunaambianga mama ukishikisha mtoto matiti moja we say per feed or about akue kwa hiyo matiti 30 minutes ni kusema if you breastfeed and you want to bath the baby there are moms that we encourage if the baby has a problem of colic gas or even all babies by mm. the way bath them between feeds that means kama mtoto amenyonya na amejitoa mm-hmm. umbath bathing tunasemanga kuna hii yeah. kuna hii where you hug the stomach from that direction mm-hmm. kuna ingine unaraza mtoto kwa hiyo mm. and you make sure umnyongi na mkono yako okay wangu ni wa plastic kuna hiyo <laughs> you make sure the stomach our stomachs by the way are on the left side mm-hmm. not on the on right the left. Okay. so when you're bathing this baby be intentional fanya kusugua this side mm-hmm. sio hii so kama unamwekelea kwa rap ndio bap mwekelee intentionally afinywe kidogo na you are rap because mm-hmm. it is even here okay. kama unamwekelea hapa usimwekelee apo ona kifua yangu ndio inafinywa kifua ya mtoto ndio inafinywa mm-hmm. if you are putting the baby here you have two options hapo afinywe na matiti yako mm-hmm. tumbo ama umchukue juu mm-hmm. the upper the nilikuwa better na nini nilikuwa na challenge ya ku bap my second daughter aha kwa sababu aha i think <laughs> nilikuwa naeka huko huko juu because there is a space here because hapa kuna After space una feel comfortable yes. and then i assume nimemnyonyesha hii matiti so he imefura so kama namwekelea hapa venye umeonyesha kuna sitaki kufinywa hiyo matiti so i tend to kupeleka juu oh, kidogo but sasa hakuna hiyo contact hakuna vile so tumbo yake inafinywa, inafinywa. Ah, na some, some babies bath quick some take time mm-hmm. because a bath is not an instant mm-hmm. process it is something that the body has to produce yeah. okay. zile bubbles are meza akinyonya <clears throat> akinyonya 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 kuna watoto mm-hmm. they develop they mature quick hiyo bath mm-hmm. na kuna wale ina take inachukua muda mm-hmm. ku build na saa zile ana bath angalia watoto wengi they make a move mm-hmm. it's like they are feeling uncomfortable yeah, then and then it's a munya which is good and remember most babies don't have one bath kuna wengine ukiendelea ku they bath again, they bap again. again, again. Mm-hmm. and the more baths the better because the baby will not yes. get colic, colic. Let me show you a product. Wana, mm-hmm. wana bapo, alafu wanatoa maziwa mingi sana yes. sana like well done. Una, unashanga, is it ume overfeed ama what happened? It could be overfeeding but nataka uangalie kitu moja ama mam akiangalia mtoto wake angalie kitu moja. Kuna wale watoto akienda kuteuka mm-hmm. maziwa kidogo inatoka during that process okay. and that's it. Mm-hmm. Kuna wale watoto throughout wanatoka maziwa mm. maji maji mm. anatapika so utasikia mama akisema huwa tunatoanga maziwa mm. maji maji saa yote mm. it could be cuddled inakaa kama imeganda mm-hmm. uh-huh. 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 hiyo ni disease inaitwa reflux It's actually called oh. gastro reflux disease okay. gastro esophageal reflux disease for newborn babies hiyo mm-hmm. na colic na shida yote ya tumbo mama tafuta hii inaitwa hii inaitwa colic cam Oh. Tuko nayo kwa website yetu kwa online shop Pia Healthy You. Mm-hmm. Go to any healthy you. Get it is called colic cam. Inatibu, inasaidia hata sio kutibu. Mm-hmm. Inasaidia mtoto wako na colic, ako na reflux, mm-hmm. ako na upset stomach, anything mm-hmm. stomach. Yeah. Najua wanapea ngo infarct, bonisan. Kwa watoto wengi hizo wasifanye. Mm-hmm. Okay. But he it works. People swear by this. It's mm-hmm. natural 100%. Mm-hmm. Um it's homeopathic and uh, okay. It's from the US. Okay. Yes. Wow.